This video discusses three printer settings you should be aware of, and I'm going to access the printers through the control panel because you get a different menu than if you do settings and printers through Windows 10. So I'm going to click on devices and printers and scroll to the printer I want to look at, and I'm going to right click and say printer properties. And from here, when it first comes up, if I don't click this change properties button, I don't actually get access to change things. So like I'm going to go to the advanced tab in a minute, this is all grayed out. So what you want to do if you ever have that problem you're trying to change something and you can't is click on printer properties with that little admin shield and then you'll be able to actually make changes. So now I have all the menu items. So the first thing is about spooling documents. So long ago when the internet was much slower and network devices were much slower and people were on T1 lines this was a bigger deal because people would be printing and partial documents would get sent and accepted and it would it could get messed up especially if you have longer documents. So nowadays that's usually not an issue. So if you ever feel like your printer's taking a really long time to respond, it might be that it has been set to print only after the last page is spooled, meaning the last page has been accepted by the printer. So definitely you want to change that to start printing immediately. It makes the se it makes sense in probably 99.9% .9 of situations. The second thing is um, setting the availability hours of your printer. So you can change that to it's from always available, which is the default, to only be available from certain hours. So you could say available from say 6 in the morning when some people come to your office until uh, 8 o'clock at night. Whatever hours work for you, it doesn't really matter, but you can set it to anything those hours mean it's available from those hours and that's it. Outside of those hours you can't print. So that can be really helpful for like a home office or uh, say even if you have a printer at home and you don't want your kids printing at night or a work, a work printer where you don't want faxes coming in and printing automatically, whatever the reason may be, that's where you can change those. So aside from those settings you can also right click on the printer and say printing preferences which is going to give you the preferences menu for that actual printer. So the other one is going to is basically basic settings you can change for any, any printer. This is going to be the specific printer. So from here the most important thing for me is the media type. So if I'm going to print pictures or something like on cardstock, you really want to pick thick or like thicker paper for that, glossy paper for um, photos, things like that. Because if you don't, oftentimes the printer won't, like in this instance, this is a laser jet which burns toner, it won't burn it onto the actual paper right. So like thin paper is going to be handled differently than cardstock. So if I don't actually change this to thicker paper when I'm printing a cardstock, when that print comes out and I touch it, the toner just wipes right off. So it's basically wasted toner, wasted paper. So if you're printing uh, images, same thing. You would want like glossy paper, whatever paper you're putting in there, that's what you want to change that. You want to make sure this media type is relative to that because if you don't it probably won't print right and the same thing can happen with um, like inkjet printers as well because it might not send either enough ink or whatever may happen but basically if you don't select the right media you're probably not going to get the best print quality that you could get even when the print quality is it's like here is only normal but between normal and fine regardless of that if you don't pick the right media type it won't print as well as it could if you pick the correct media type and then when you're done because you're gonna save this make sure you go back and say like say I had printed on cardstock when you're done make sure you go back and say I'm back on plain paper because that way um, when you go to print next time you don't end up having it print over print in other words because it can be wasteful and those are three big settings that you can change on printers. The media type, the amount of hours that the printer is available to be able to be printed to, and spooling it, uh, printing right away rather than letting it be spooled before printing. 